Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine. Healthcare today and it is October 30th. Starting off with the study that everyone has been talking about today is the COVID-19 infection during pregnancy that it was associated with a neurodevelopmental risk. Essentially, between March of 2020 and May of 2021, 18,000 births were examined to see how the babies developed and if the mothers end up having COVID-19 during that time. We found that 16% of all the mothers who had COVID-19 ended up having a neurodevelopmental disorder. This was compared to about the 10% in the unexposed group, which ended up being about a 36% higher chance of developing neurodevelopmental disorders, specifically after you counted for other variables. Before we get into the last two studies, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack. You'll get a daily update as well as the links to the articles and a more in-depth analysis, and it's free. Moving on, the American Heart Association did a literature review looking at how viral infections were related to things like stroke and heart attacks. They found that in the weeks after being diagnosed with influenza, you were four times more likely to have a heart attack and five times more likely to have a stroke. They looked at things like COVID-19, they found that you were three times more likely to have a heart attack or a stroke within the 14 weeks after being diagnosed. Moving on to our last study out of nature that looked at how the brain functions when we deprived people of sleep. Using a bunch of fancy techniques, they were able to deprive people of sleep and then track the brains, and they found that when they had momentary lapses of attention, they actually saw physical changes in the brain that were related towards quote-unquote rest or sleepfulness. This included things like neuronal activity, as well as even just the amount of cerebral spinal fluid that was being pushed into the brain. Now that's all the major news for today. Again, if you want any of the links to everything, you can find it in the bio. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.